As the Fort Lauderdale Air Show takes flight this weekend, South Florida is facing extreme heat. We've been talking about it here with Ivan. CBS News Miami's Joe Murray joins us live from Fort Lauderdale with a look at the safety measures in place to help all those people on the beach keep cool. Joan. Yeah, there is a lot of them, but still, if you're coming down here this week and make sure you bring plenty of water and a lawn chair, it is finally here for a lot of people. This is kind of the unofficial start of summer here in South Florida, and it all gets going 12 noon tomorrow. If you feel the need for speed or appreciate daredevil parachuting out of planes, Fort Lauderdale Beach is your place to be this weekend for the annual air show. Down. We're trying to do an interview here, okay? Joe Miller hasn't missed a show in three decades and was here for the Friday preview. It's good for the city. It's good for the uh, community. It's good for the family. Um, you bring your friends and uh, you just enjoy and have a good time. There will be extra lifeguards and emergency tents for people who get dehydrated. Overindulging in alcohol and being in this Florida sunshine on the beach is a recipe for disaster. We want to make sure that those that are attending the RNC show are doing it safely and are able to enjoy the entirety of the show. Najee's Cafe is cooking up extra food, expecting double their usual diners. People um, are coming from another states just for see the show on this weekend, so it's going to be fantastic. Lee Feldman, who runs Yo Mama Ice Cream and Pops Corn near the beach, said the air show translates to dollars. We see people from all over the country come in. They're staying at the hotels. They're eating at the restaurants. They're coming in for ice cream. It's, it's great. It's a great event. There's no quick way to get to the show unless you're one of the Red Bull parachutists who glided in. Oh, that was amazing. Welcome to the Fort Lauderdale Air Show. Come check us out. It's awesome. <laughs> So much fun. Now, remember, A1A North and South, north of Sunrise, will be closed on Saturday and Sunday. If you've ever been down here, you know hundreds of people, hundreds of thousands of people will be here. So uh, you're best to get a ride in, get dropped off, ride a bike in. It's going to be so crowded in the area. There are some parking garages, but they are going to be filled fast. Again, it all gets going at noon, Saturday and Sunday. Reporting on Fort Lauderdale Beach, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami. Should be a great show, Joan. Thank you for that update.